But then now we're talking about a different category, and that's fibrolamellar carcinoma, which does generally, forgive me if it's all the time, originate in the liver, but it's of a different tissue type in the liver. Is that correct? Probably. We don't know which tissue type it is, but you bring up a good point. What we know for sure is it absolutely is not hepatocellular carcinoma, but that's one of the major reasons we started this foundation is the misconception that it is somehow related to HCC. It's the eighth most common cancer in the world, and this is a cancer that, that occurs in 100 patients a year in the entire United States. It's ungodly rare. Most physicians have never seen it, including cancer physicians have never seen it in their entire career. So yes, it, it, we don't know the cell of origin. It's probably biliary and probably closely, closely related to cholangiocarcinoma, but it always starts in the liver. That's correct. And you know, with, at least with HCC, there's usually some degree of underlying, you know, pathology. So if you have hemochromatosis and you have a ton of, you know, iron deposition, which causes cirrhosis or alcoholic cirrhosis or hepatitis cirrhosis uh, related cirrhosis. But here, I presume that fibrolamellar does not require liver pathology underlying beforehand, or is it something that needs to be no, you're like, correct. is there a really you're correct? There's oh. never underlying pathology. And that's another common yeah. misconception and one of the problems with research is because the research will often lump this together with HCC. Three problems. Number one, it's not HCC. Number two, those are 85% of the time people with uh, unhealthy livers with cirrhosis and alcoholism and hepatitis and everything else. And number th uh, three, they're almost always elderly and deconditioned. So everything you're, you're doing with them is very fragile. You're very careful. You're so worried about liver function and all of that. And that's none of that applies to to fibrolamellar, and consequently, the patients are mistreated and undertreated.